Okay, let's look at a skills model of embodiment. So I think this is gonna really help you guys with this huge conference to get a sense that actually people are only teaching quite a limited set of skills. Uh, so I brought forward about 10 years ago this model of embodied intelligence. It's since, uh, you'll see other people have imitated it, but I think I was the first to use it this way. Credit, however, to Daniel Goleman because it's really based on em uh, emotional intelligence. I think of it as four skill sets across two time frames. Whatever session you're in at the conference, they're probably talking about developing some of these skills. Very few embodied arts develop all of them equally. Um, some of them only develop one side of things, and that's not bad, it just means that's their focus. So a really good way to look at this conference is which of these skills am I developing? Maybe you're already developing some in your home art, maybe you need to develop some more, yeah? So we have self-awareness. This is two time frames: is state, like and sit there and meditate and notice my mood, right? But then there's also pattern. How do I reveal my patterns? You won't become aware of your patterns of being, you know, like, I don't know, extrovert, introvert, more this way or that way, simply through awareness. You actually need something to reveal that, yeah? So awareness, if we have awareness, we can do something about it. Awareness and choice. All embodiment is about awareness and choice. There's almost another definition. So awareness of state, we can actually change state. So some of the teachers will be teaching a lot of centering, for example, which is a state changing technique. Some of them are more interested in changing state through going through a cycle, like, you know, rhythms type work in dance, for example. Yeah. Uh, and then we have developing our traits. So states are quick and easy to change. I can <sighs> take a breath, and change my state. Trait, however, takes practice. So some embodiment teachers at the conference are very interested in how we develop our practices over time. Yeah, so that's how we develop our, our being, our embodiment in more long-term sense, okay? So that's the intrapersonal side of things you'll see on the graphic, that's the left-hand side. On the right-hand side, sub-embodiment practices are very much about social awareness, okay? So something like circling, authentic relation, they're really looking at this, some kinds of partner dance. How is my partner? How is the group, yeah? Aware of the other. Uh, aware of the relationship dynamic. And again, that could be um, them, their state, how they are right now, or more like looking to observe, like body reading, they sometimes call that somatic assessments, looking at them more long-term. So some teachers are more concerned with that. Lastly, we have impact and influence. So it's, are you able to impact people? Are you able to lead people, to turn them on, to make them laugh, to calm them down, whatever the impact you want is on their embodiment. State and trait would be like coaching someone to develop themselves. Look at my book if you want to go into much more detail about this model. Uh, you've got that free as a PDF if you registered for the conference. Um, but yeah, looking at the embodied intelligence gives a really clear framework. What I like about it is that it, it's, um, it's not esoteric. It's, you can look at how you, what skills you have, what skills aren't so good, what practices develop them. So it's a really nice model to uh, orientate to the conference uh, towards.